And we're back with more Ratchet and Clank. In our last episode, we tackled planet Iridia. And now we move on to the logging site in planet Eudora. Our objective here? Confront the robot lieutenant. We now have a planet to save. Let's do this. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> Okay, after seeing that, okay, now I'm not liking this one bit. If you don't know who that guy is, that was Chairman Drek, the antagonist of the game. And quite possibly, a bit of a dirtbag. You'll see what I mean when I confront him in the end. Anyway, let's see if we can get some new weapons. I got some great bargains for you today. I don't have enough, so for the time being, I'll have to collect bolts. And I'm going to need a lot to get my hands on the Glove of Doom. And now to take down some pesky tree choppers. Okay, that didn't sound right. Tree choppers? More like bots. Take that. Let's see if we can check this place out. Let's check the map. Yep, looks like we got ourselves a lot of exploring to do. And we have actually two objectives. Confront the robot lieutenant and explore the mills. And we're going to need plenty of interesting stuff here. Since exploration is also part of this game. Alright, take that. Okay, so what's our next step? Okay, so I think we're gonna need something to get our way through. But there is no, like, swing shot thing or something. How am I supposed to get through? Eh, whatever, we'll just go the other way around. Let's see, nah, we'll have to go all the way around just to get there. Alright, let's just speed our way through. And looks like, time to take down some of those tree choppers. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna need better weapons just to, like, take down these things. Okay, now let's use the wrench to set up a makeshift bridge. We're going to need the bridge in order to... Wait, I gotta go around it. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Alright, now that we got the bridge set up, we can now progress. And with the blaster set on standby, we can destroy stuff. Bye-bye. Don't worry. We're gonna be checking out a lot of this place. So sit back and enjoy. Because I know I am. Alright, let's just... Oh wait, let's just go FPS on this one. There you go. Alright, we're at 5300 and we need 7500 for the Glove of Doom. Well, I'll show you what the Glove of Doom is when I get it. Alright, now that we've taken those down, we need to attract the attention of an annoying tree terror. Yeah, I need to find better words. If anyone's got better words for this, leave a comment. There you go. Okay, this is pretty good. And what was that? Another tree chopper? Bam, take that. Annoying. I hate people who like to tear down trees. I value the environment more than anything else. And to see something like that shows a perfect example of what our human race is. The human race at the moment is at like a population of 6 billion people. And I feel by the time we head further as the years progress, we'll be overpopulated. And it could be a very big problem for us. Especially since the fact that the human race needs to find new places to explore. But my one complaint is the fact that it's going to end up overpopulating everything. And that's something I don't like. Sure, I value the environment more than anything else. But to like, do stuff like this at the cost of... of eh. I'm trying to find the right words for it, but it's just so hard. It's so hard when you see something like this and it makes you wonder if this serves as a reflection of what our race is. Always wanting to tear things down just for the sake of adding new land, just to like help people find new places to live. For example, the Amazon rainforest. I value it all out. It's like a sacred landmark. And if it's torn down, it could affect the planet severely. And I mean that in a bad way. Believe me. So I'm getting a bit off track, but you get what I mean. It's because I value the human race more like the environment more than anything else, and I don't want to see it go away. The Earth is fragile, just like, like, how do I put this? It's important to preserve it than to destroy it. And I think we took down some of the enemies around here and acquired more pocket change. We need 7,500, like I said, to get access to the Glove of Doom. 
And of course, I could just use the blaster for some target practice. Yeah, these things can be taken down with little to no effort. I'll just blast them that way they don't ever, and I mean ever, come back. Annoying. I hate it when the environment gets torn down, all for the sake of supplying their selfish needs. That's just how greedy businesses are. They just want to take everything away from us. Tell them that to Google, YouTube, whatever. I don't care. I just hate things like that. I really do. There. That should take you clowns down. Though I do know I think there's a skill point that you could actually destroy 10 of these things. But worry, we'll worry about that later. Right now, we have more bots to tear down. And what better way to tear them down is my right here. Take this. And this. Annoying. Annoying and a joke. That's what sums up these robots in a nutshell. They're basically cannon fodder. Or blaster fodder, if you put it this way. Eh, missed. And take that down. And I got a skill point. I think I just destroyed 10 of these. Nice. And I got vehicle bombardier. Yeah, the skill points you get, you like acquire, also count as trophies for the game, which is pretty nice. A pretty nice incentive to go back and complete everything. I'll make sure to cover everything in a later video, just so you know. Anyway, now that we can continue on our way. And, damn it, I can't get up there, this sucks. Hey, you, get back here! Take that, take that, you piece of crap. And, ow! That's not right. I need to get my nanotech back. We're at four again. Very good. I think it's time we switch weapons. Time to use the pyrocer and take them down. At least using the pyrocer here doesn't burn the forest down, which is very good. Burn! Burn, you freaks! There you go. It takes two hits to take them down with the pyrocer. The, the pyrocer's ammo comes down very quick. So you gotta be careful with it. Okay, so now where we go next? There are some platforms we can progress, but... Hey! Stop that! Take that! And this! Sheesh, I hate it when these things try to tear down forests like these. Chairman Drek is a douchebag. Or, put it precise, a dirtbag. Alright, we'll make sure we deal with Chairman Drek later. Though I got a bad feeling how this will turn out. Alright, we've reached about almost over 7,000. We only need 7,500 to get the Glove of Doom. Which is what we'll be needing in order to, like, take down enemies in a safe distance. Alright, now we can be able to head higher. Let's see if we can. Nah, we can't. We'll need to keep our distance. Pyrocitor, burn. I can worry about that later. I just need to find a way to get up there. How do I get up there anyway? I think I need, like, some sort of platform? I think so, yeah. Here, here it is. Oh crud, I didn't time my jump right. Anyway, let's try it again. Hopefully this time we'll get it right. And... No, oh, wait, you can actually strafe? That's new. I, I had no idea you can. And you wanna know what's really surprising? They actually added a digital manual. I'm not kidding, they added a digital manual for the game. Which is kinda surprising since... Nowadays, instruction videos are like, they can come out really long and colorful like Nintendo games, or they can come out really short like Fall of Cybertron, which has like one of the shortest instruction manuals ever. I am not kidding. The instruction manual for that is just really short. Wow. And I think nowadays they're heading into the digital department where manuals come out like digital form, where instead of just having to read the manual, you see the manual on the disc itself. I'm not kidding. I think I should show it to you in the menu, but I'll save that for another time. Anyway, let's rearm, and I think we have more than enough to get our hands on the Glove of Doom. Now, before we do that, let's. There's just one thing we need to do. Reload of health. We're going to need it. All right. Now we can move around with the analog stick to move that platform down, and we can progress upwards. Hopefully, with a high enough distance, we can take down these klutz heads. Don't pay for messing with the environment. I know it for sure. And thanks to Clank's ability to hover, we can be able to reach it there without so much as a second thought. And you go down. Buh bye 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 Wait, why am I getting Love of Doom ammo if I don't even have the weapon yet? Nah, I'm not worried, so I'd rather not care. We'll get it eventually. Anyway, let's just take down these guys. Wait, there's something up there. Let's check it out. Wait, do I have enough now for the blaster? Yeah, I got plenty, but we'll have to manage. Ooh, more crates. Pretty nice. And a health. Since we're already at full health, we won't need it right away. And we got ourselves more... more bolts. 
And blast. Bye bye. Guess it takes a few hits to take him down with the blaster. Though of course the Pyrocer is a different case. Same goes for the bomb club. We're already at around 8,429. Very good. And I already got the skill point here, so I don't think I need anything else. Alright. Now we can continue on our way. Alright, good. Let's see. Hello, more trouble. And more destruction. Yay! And I'm getting more bolts. Two of these guys, bye bye Have a nice day. And I get more bolts. Despite the fact they fell to a bottomless pit. Wow. Okay, so now that we got about 9,000, let's just continue. Three of these guys? I mean, come on. This is... Are you serious? Alright, then I'll just burn you guys. How's that sound? Hey, you'll pay for that. And we got ourselves an interesting weapon. The Blitz Gun. And I'm not worried. We're going to need it anyway. Sweet! What did I... Megatron suck cannon can vacuum up multiple enemies, then fire them out as high-caliber missiles. Caution, enemies must be small enough to fit inside the barrel. Okay, so what we got our hands is a suck cannon? Okay, that's just... Weird, and I got the trophy for it. Very sucky. Okay, that's a kind of a really stupid joke, but you get my point. Anyway, let's just see how the suck cannon works. We just sweep up enemies, and it fills up as ammo. And you could basically use the ammo as a weapon against different enemies. How very resourceful. Although I do feel my complaint with it is the fact that, well, yeah, you get what I mean. And I'm gonna follow my death. Yeah, what do you expect me to do? I don't want to go through all that again. Okay, so now that we got enough, we should be able to get the Glove of Doom. I got some great bargains for you today. Yeah, I gotta make sure to rearm because I ran out of blaster ammo. And pyrocitor ammo. No, I'm max and I'm maxed out already. Let's just get the Glove of Doom. Basically, the Glove of Doom just sends out those little mini. Like, many, like, how do I put this? It sends out many, like, many little robots that you can use to destroy things. And it's very useful in my humble opinion, but I'm afraid we're not finished yet. There is still much to do. Time to crack this with this. What, where do I use it? The Trespasser. Alright, let's see if we can be able to move these. How do I... Oh yeah, gotta press the analog stick. And we move this too. And we're done. Nice. Now we can progress. And let's set our hands on the suck cannon since we're going to need to scoop up lots of enemies. Alright, let's see what we can find since... Wait, there aren't that many enemies? I mean, come on! How am I going to use the suck cannon? I swear, this is really sucky, believe me. Okay, that was a bad joke. Okay, so let's just time our jumps right and see if we can find more enemies to deal with. Ah, yes, a wrench. Now we can just move this. Ah, we'll be needing the swing shot for this. There you go. Haha, <laughs> nice. And another spot where we can use the wrench. And more platforms. Very helpful. And it's all set up. Good. Now we can continue on our way through. Hopefully I can time my jumps right so that way I don't fall to my death. And it's a really long fall. And you don't want to go through that, believe me. Nice. And one more. And that's it, I guess. And we got ourselves one more wrench stop. Alright, let's just take care of this for the meantime. Yeah, I gotta move it so that way I can have more swing shots. Very nice. Nice, we got all the way up there. And it's time to use the trespasser. We'll be able to crack our way through. Let's see. Okay, so now we got one. We need to find the other three. So, let's see. There you go. Pretty easy if I do say so myself. Okay, let's just use the wrench to bash these things and get ourselves some more pocket change. Alright, now that we have the blaster, we're set to destroy them. Coward. You sure showed him. I suppose I did.
Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind Boot Tester, Warhead Assembly Technician, Mutant Animal Husbandry, Robot Repair Man, Suck Cannon Test Dummy, and Administrative Assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, you think too much. Come on, let's go. Ratchet, why do I have a feeling you're being really stubborn? I'd rather not worry because you'll be able to find out the truth eventually, believe me. At least that guy was a complete coward. Coward, coward, coward. Not to mention a frickin' wuss. And I hate people who act like wussies and run away from a fight. Cowards to the end. That's what I think. Anyway, I think that's about it here. So I will get my hands on the gold bolt eventually. I did get the skill point, which you saw in the video. And I think our work here is done. Hi there, fuzzball. I gotta make sure I rearm. And I think I'm all rearmed and ready to go for the next world. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time when we tackle the Blark Research Station. This is Mega Man NGA signing out. Peace, guys.